In this video, I'm going to show you a much better solution to using textures as weight paint in Blender. So a huge shout out to Flashcode, he found a better solution for this. So let's go ahead and add a plane. Now we want to select this texture icon and add a new texture, image or movie. Go to open and this is the texture we are going to be using, a black and white texture. So under the texture settings. You want to go to the mapping, change it from repeat to clip and then we can select our plane, add the modifier, you want to add the vertex width edit, let's select the plane, go into edit mode and subdivide it. So I'm going to give it a hundred subdivisions, select all the faces, go to the data, add a new group and assign the weight. Go back to object mode, go to the modifiers, under your vertex group, add the vertex group you just created. And now if we go into the weight paint, everything is red. The next thing you want to do is go to your influence, max texture. Let's select the texture we created. And then you want to go to your fall off and select this icon here to invert the fall off. So now we have the texture paint as our weight paint. So if you add a subdivision surface, it's going to increase the resolution or the clarity of this weight paint. So let's add and take this above the vertex width edit. And you can see you have a cleaner version of it. So depending on your system, that will determine the amount of subdivisions that you work with. So this can be used to create a lot of cool effects. Watch this video here to see how I use this method to create a stunning inflatable logo.